Do we like space? I personally don't like space. It terrifies me. Never ends, always expanding. Don't know what gravity is or dark matter. I'm gonna faint just thinking about it. Let's move on. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Taylor McWaters, and here are the top 10 concerning black holes that were recently discovered. Kicking off our list at number 10, the closest black hole. Yeah, let's start our list off with the nearest black hole. Are we good? How, how close are we talking here? Gaia BH1, nice cool name, what a calming name already. Gaia BH1 was discovered recently by an international group of astronomers. That's exciting stuff on paper, but of course it's obviously a little terrifying. Sitting a mere 1,600 light years from Earth, Gaia BH1 travels through space and time itself. Now this black hole moves about 9.4 trillion kilometers with every passing year. Now if you want to have a few words with this big bad force of evil, point your telescope towards the constellation of Apicuus or Epiuchus. Epiuchus. One of the two constellations. Just went back and forth, you'll find it. Gaia BH1 is believed to weigh about 10 times the mass of our sun, and it's three times closer to Earth than the previous record holder. Number nine, Leo 1. All right, shout out to all the Leos out there, you lions. This supermassive black hole is dedicated to you, Leo 1. In our neighbor galaxy, the Milky Way, I mean, one, it's beautiful to see in the night sky, but two, it turns out it could be harboring a massive black hole in secret this whole time. Yeah, we have a few close ones. The second closest, but still equally as bad, Leo 1 was first thought to exist in 2021. So yeah, it's a recent discovery, which is horrifying, but all of these are. It's hard to miss, especially when astronomers began to notice stars accelerating as they approached the center of this dwarf galaxy. Now, astronomers couldn't get a direct image of emissions from the black hole to then furthermore prove its existence, which is disappointing. But there's other ways to tell if there is a supermassive black hole. Like for example, quote, to prove that it exists now, two researchers have proposed a solution. Fabio Pacucci, an astrophysicist at Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and lead author of the research, he said in a statement, quote, Rays of light cannot escape their event horizons, but the environment around them can be extremely bright if enough material falls into their gravitational well. But if a black hole is not accreting mass, instead it emits no light and becomes impossible to find with our telescopes. End quote. So it's there, but it's kind of invisible. Nice. How lovely is that to hear? That's great. Number eight, space spaghetti. Back in October 2018, a black hole was located in a galaxy 665 million light years away from Earth. Now again, it was a bit obvious as there was a star being sucked into it. It was literally being devoured. It looked like cosmic spaghetti. I can't even imagine force behind that. Now it sounds like sci-fi to us, but the event wasn't that surprising to astronomers. They surprisingly observed these violent encounters a lot. Now the tidal disruption events, or TDEs if you're cool, they happen when objects approach black holes and the massive gravitational influence they encounter generates tidal forces that stretch the star in one direction whilst also squashing it the other direction. So they actually refer to it as spaghettifying. Actual scientists are like, yep, yeah, it looks like spaghetti. That's for real. As this spaghettified material falls into the black hole, it generates a flash of light that astronomers can then observe millions of light years away, where we are. And then I come online and then tell you how spooky it is and to smash that thumbs up. That's what we do. Circle of life. Number seven, stellar vampirism. Yeah, that is a very real term that officials use for a cosmic dance. Vampirism. Nice. While some of these great forces are black holes, others may be confused as them. Now, it's equally fascinating to find something that you thought was a black hole because, well then, what is it? What once was believed to be the closest black hole to Earth, well, it turns out it actually doesn't exist. Yeah, I'm also a little relieved and disappointed. How is this possible? Back in 2020, astronomers discovered evidence that HR 6819, a black hole just a thousand light years away from Earth, was actually a triple system, with one star closely orbiting a black hole and another in a wider orbit. However, this is news. Other scientists had to come in and ruin the party. It's not the case anymore. Using two powerful instruments based in Chile that could produce more detailed images of HR 6819, astronomers found that it possesses only two stars only in a tight orbit without a black hole. So what's happening here? What's this great force that we're detecting? Well, one of the stars is stripping away the mass of the other as they go round and round. And it's a phenomenon that's referred to, like I mentioned earlier, as stellar vampirism. Hashtag Team Jacob. Number six, students of the year. This was back in the 80s, but I'm gonna count it as 
recent because, you know, we're talking about light years and stuff, but the 80s, pretty recent in comparison. It's one thing for an experienced astronomer to find a black hole or to shatter your dreams of believing that you found a black hole. That's also fun. But for a group of students to find one back in the 80s, let's go. That's amazing. Like the Avengers of science. I couldn't even get a group project done with any coordination. You're telling me I could have found a black hole? I was wasting my time. Also, we're talking students as in high school interns, by the way. After analyzing archival observations from 1986 and 1987, these students found the object J1533-2727 is now 500 times dimmer than it was beforehand. So, something's afoot. The event was likely caused by a supermassive black hole 500 million light years away from Earth, which then crushed a star, a tidal disruption event, or again, TDE if you're cool, happened. So what we saw was radio jet just being projected out. And then these students are like, oh cool. They made history while we were all skipping class and singing grease tunes on the stairs. I don't know, what did you do in high school? Number five, black hole duo. Two for the price of one. How fortunate are we? You're welcome. That's right, in recent news, two supermassive black holes were discovered by astronomers using the VLT, the Very Large Telescope. Also a real name, how funny is that? This is over in Chile. Now this one here, or rather these ones there, they were both staring at each other very still. They were 89 million light years away from us in the galaxy NGC 77. Now these black holes, they're big, they're powerful, but it appears that they're moving towards each other very slowly. That's concerning, yeah? A little bit? Karina Vogel, an astronomer at the Strasbourg Observatory in France, explains in a statement that these pairs of doom can form when huge galaxies merge and the supermassive black holes at the center of each sets a course for a collision. Now, it takes a while to happen, but they will meet. It's the first time in history that we've found two supermassive black holes that are this close to each other. Yeah, they're only 1,600 light years apart. It sounds far, but after this whole list, it's not that far. Experts can confirm that they will both merge into one monster black hole within the next 250 million years or so. So spoilers, but yeah, they're gonna meet and it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be real loud. Number four, rogue black hole. It's nice when black holes sit still and you know, just look at each other for a bit. I don't mind if they meet in 250 million years, so long as we can see them and keep track of them. This next one here, number four, not so still. This one's uh, a little random, this little guy. For the first time ever in 2022, astronomers spotted a rogue black hole wandering in the cosmos. Poor guy, must be lost and hungry. Scientists have long predicted that stars between 7 and 20 times the mass of the sun would eventually go supernova and then collapse into a black hole. That's not news per se. But this is the first time that scientists have observed this type of isolated black hole. Using data from the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers were able to detect a rogue stellar mass black hole 5,150 light years away from Earth. And it's heading towards the center of the Milky Way, it seems. Now this black hole is relatively lightweight at around 7.1 solar masses, but it's definitely something you don't want to get caught up into. Number three. Red black hole. Oh, oh, we're adding colors now. Okay, that's, didn't know that, great. What could this one possibly mean? Red, is that like more scary? 13 billion light years away from Earth, I can't even fathom such a distance, but astronomers found the earliest evidence of a black hole, a black hole birth rather, at the beginning of the universe. Yeah, this guy was the OG BH. He was born 750 million years after the Big Bang during an era called the Cosmic Dawn, which sounds so cool. But during that time, a transitioning red quasar came along this flashing bright red speck of light that appeared to be a very early galaxy that right on the verge of collapsing into a supermassive black hole. Yeah, so any second now, really. These hybrid objects have been speculated to exist but never proven until 2022. Number two, number two. First black hole photo. Here we go. Back in 2019, you probably remember this. I have it on my wallpaper for the longest time. Over 200 scientists from 20 different countries all put their big brains together in order to get the first photo of a black hole. Yeah, how amazing was that? We've seen them in movies. Interstellar almost gave me a panic attack in IMAX, but this here is real life. Science involved here to even make this image possible is mind bending. Right at the center of the Messier 87 galaxy, just a mere 55 million light years away, this black hole has been ripping apart anything in sight in a galaxy in the Virgo cluster. But how in the world did scientists get a photo of something that sucks in light? That's the, how does that even work? Well, the Event Horizon Telescope shows us the dark center, this hole that swallows up life as we know it. Now, it looks like a ring, a ring that you can maybe look around. But the light that we see in this photo, these radio waves that are represented here, that's coming from all around the black hole. It's behind it, in front of it, the sides. It would be impossible to see with the naked eye, of course. But after the team made a virtual telescope the size of the Earth, 
Earth, yeah, they can do that now, they were then able to see the radiation surrounding the black hole. This is something we barely understand in the science world, and the fact that we can see a blurry photo of it, honestly, it's more than we deserve. I wanna make that my wallpaper again, that's sick. Remember the first time I saw that, I was like, yes! And finally, number one, the fastest black hole. The biggest black hole that we have found so far is said to weigh about 40 billion times the mass of our sun, or about 20 times the size of our solar system. That's so scary, that's impossibly large. Some of the outer, slowest orbiting planets in our solar system, like let's say Neptune for example, it takes Neptune 165 years to orbit our sun once. Now this huge black hole, the one that's, you know, 20 times the size of our solar system, it orbits once every three months. Do we know how fast that is? That's insane. Neptune is considered slow, going at 12,148 miles per hour on the outer edge of this black hole. The outer edge of this black hole is moving at half the speed of light. That's how fast it's going. It seems like the Usain Bolt of black holes. It's unbelievable. The crazy thing about black holes being this large though, other than how fast they're moving, is that it's believed that spaghettification wouldn't kill you in this case if you were to fall in to one. It's thought that you would actually survive, just, you know, you wouldn't be able to escape to tell the tale because of that whole nothing escapes the black holes thing that they have going on. That probably has something to do with it. Or maybe you'd be transported to another universe that maybe was spawned by said big black hole. Or maybe I watched Interstellar last week. I'll never tell. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and come back for more black hole knowledge. See you next time. Peace. When I did that, I like cracked four bones in my wrist. Like, <laughs> it's like a soap. That was science talk. Mm. Mm.